Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in this video, we're going to talk about um, something that's been making news and that the world's largest iceberg is on the move after 30 years. And this is a November 23rd, 2023 article. Today's the 27th. And right here, Guardian, world's biggest iceberg moving beyond Antarctic waters. And it's split from the um, F-I-L-C-H-N-E-R, Filchner Ice Shelf, in 1986. But it became stuck to the ocean floor, and it had remained for many years in the Weddell Sea. But it just got unstuck. And right here, this is uh, Microsoft. How big is the world's largest iceberg? Well, we'll talk about that, too. So... These articles, of course, as like all articles, it they all have the same information and with a few little bits of tidbit. So right here uh, on a big map, you can see where it's at. And um, here is the iceberg is called A, capital A, a 23 small a. So that, that is how it is tracked. And it's off the tip of Antarctica. And it will soon be making its way up into Iceberg Alley, where um, a lot of other icebergs are. And, and this can maybe potentially um, cause some problems for, for shipping. So, um, yeah, it, it says that the world's largest iceberg is on the move after more than 30 years of being stuck on the ocean floor. And... Um, it's about 1,500 square miles in area, which is more than the um, twice the size of Greater London. And this MSN article says that it's approximately three times larger than New York City, right, and twice the size of London again. And, and further down on this BBC article, it, it says that um, the Hawaii Big Island is... 10,400 square kilometers. This is 3,900 square kilometers. And if you do the math here, um, 10,400 times 0.375, about 37.5% of the size, is equal to that 3,900. So this iceberg is about 0 0.375, 37 37.5 times the, the size of Hawaii. So, you know, a, a little less than four-tenths of the size of Hawaii. Well, the Big Island. The Big Island. Or just a little bit shy of um, the size of Cyprus, right? Cyprus is a sizable place. So isn't, yeah, the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, I mean, if you think of you know, Hawaii, you're like, yeah, that's the big island, man. It's the big island. It's pretty big. But this iceberg is about a little less than four-tenths of the size of the big island of Hawaii. And that's why this BBC article says that um, it's a true colossus and not just, and it's not just its width that impresses they say that it's um, 1,312 feet thick. And for comparison, the London Shard, the tallest skyscraper in Europe, is 310 meters. So um, this, is, this is 400 meters. So it, it's taller than the tallest skyscraper in Europe. So, <laughs> yeah. That's um, that, that's pretty big. And, and so when it first broke away, um, they say that it, it didn't move too far from the coast before its deeply deep keel anchored it rigidly to the Waddell's um, bottom mud. So the bottom of this iceberg, you know, goes down so far, 1,300 feet, well, whatever is not exposed, of 1,300 feet, that it, it wedged itself into the bottom of the ocean like a keel on a boat will, if the water's shallow. And that's how it didn't move for all of those decades. And right here, here's um, the origins of it. 
You can see where this is st starting to break apart right here and here, 1973. This is 1986. So I just, um, and, unenlarge that a little bit. So this looks like it's A23. No, this looks like it's A23 right here. This this shape right here. So yeah, th these break apart. And look, they, they all get numbered. I mean, A25 is massive too, probably. <laughs> I don't know the stats of it, but but that's a, that's a large iceberg, I'll bet you. And, and this is a little less than four tenths the size of the mainland of Hawaii and 1,312 feet high. And right here it says, uh, like most icebergs from the Weddell, Weddell sector, um, A23 will almost certainly be ejected into the Antarctic circumpolar current, which will throw it towards the South Atlantic on a path that has become known as Iceberg Alley. And here's where it was on November 15th, 19, um, 2023. So yeah, it's breaking off the top here and it's going to start heading north to warmer waters where, you know, they, they say it will melt, um, a little, but it, it can, um, it's so big that it can withstand a long time. They say that if it, um, grounds at South Georgia, it uh, could cause problems for the millions of seals, penguins, and other seabirds that breed on the island. Uh, A23A's great bulk could disrupt the animals' normal foraging routes, preventing them from feeding their young properly. But um, Dr. Catherine Walker from the Woods Hole Ocean Oceanographic um, says that in many ways these icebergs are life-giving they are the origin point for a lot of biological activity because um, right here, as these icebergs melt, they release the mineral dust that was incorporated into their ice when they were part of glaciers scraping across the rock bed of Antarctica. This dust is a source of nutrients for the organisms that form the base of the ocean food chains. Uh, they say that the iceberg weighs nearly a million metric tons. And a metric ton right here is uh, about 2,200 pounds, 2,204.6. So <laughs> that is that is a lot of weight. And right now it is drifting um, quickly past the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula and is being aided by strong winds and currents. And they say that um, it, it's rare to see an iceberg of this size on the move. This says uh, British Antarctic Survey Glaciologist um, Oliver Marsh. And uh, that Oliver Marsh says that uh, what happened, why it started moving now, basically, is probably over time, it probably just thinned slightly and got that little bit of extra buoyancy that allowed it to lift off the ocean floor and get pushed by ocean currents. And uh, they said A23A is among the world's oldest icebergs. And the iceberg was uh, first spotted moving uh, back in 2020, but it, it didn't move that far. Uh, but right now, it is definitely on the move. And that Oliver Marsh said that an iceberg of this scale has the potential to survive for quite a long time in the Southern Ocean, even though it's much warmer and it could make its way farther north up towards South Africa, where it can disrupt shipping. So if you're down Antarctic Way, which, you know, probably, um, you know, the, the tour boats that go down from, um, the tip of South America, uh, they'll probably be on the lookout for this until they'll, the, well, of course, the boats are going to be on the lookout for any, um, any floating object that would be a danger to the boats. But, you know, the, the tourists will, know the name A23A, you know, and they'll probably be looking for it. So 
Right now, uh, Antarctica, well, I guess it's basically been a little bit smaller for a while, but a big chunk of it is um, moving on moving on up, I guess, as they say, and it's headed up into um, warmer climates, and someday <laughs> will we'll no longer exist, but right now, it's uh, the biggest iceberg out there, so stay tuned, people.